<sighs> okay, so hello and welcome back uh, to another overlook of Project Vuperia, our our favorite our favorite current semi game thing that needs a lot of work. But we do have some well, we have huge updates all over the place. But we'll start with the obvious one, and I'll see if any of you who haven't been watching the streams can uh, see the difference. Oh, we're in the ocean. Isn't isn't that nice? Let's do this again so we're not in the ocean. Yeah. Come on, put me not in the ocean. Oh, there we go, there's some land. So, if you can't tell, it's not blocky anymore. We have switched completely over to the uh, Marching Cubes algorithm, which uh, generates us some pretty nice land. So, you can see right here, um, everything about... <clears throat> the terrain is smooth, it's not blocky, even if I go and hit it with a shovel. It is smooth. Um, there are some changes that are going to be done because I'm going to make a separate uh, system for the smooth terrain and blocks so that currently it's looking for blocks when you're digging. So you have to kind of hit it exactly on the side or corner for it to dig properly. But the point being, it does work. It will have work done. Um, let's go further. So if we go around here... The water also needs to be updated. Although it, you can't really tell it's not right unless you look at it really close. Okay, so we're just gonna hop up here. Boop, boop. We still have infinite terrain generation. It performs extremely well. It actually performs faster than the block version because I've done so much optimization since the last one. Uh, all mesh building is done in a separate thread now. I kind of want to find a flatter area. We're in a region that has a lot of mountains. So we're going to try to find a flatter region so that I can show some other things. There are still a few known bugs, but I got rid of all the critical bugs. So um, I feel like this is a good time for a release. Before I had some bugs that just completely killed uh, the game. It would stop generating uh, chunks after a certain point, which that took a while to hunt down. But now that they're all gone, I can say, yeah, look at this. It looks pretty good. Um, the update number two is Bloom, and a few other visual effects have been changed that look nicer, but you re uh, you can't really tell unless it's side by side, so you're just going to have to kind of take my word for it. But when it comes to Bloom, now when it's night, the uh, moon looks a little bit more natural. It has a nice glow to it, same with the brighter stars have a glow. And if we cheat in a block of light... The glow block. Even the uh, laser effect thing here looks cooler. It glows. Yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, we have the bloom effect, which makes it look very bright. This is much brighter than it should be. I should honestly turn on the brightness of this block. But the point is, it is very, very bright. It's very nice. And then we can set this back today uh isn't it beautiful yeah there is a lot of work being done honestly the big update here is uh smooth terrain which of course a lot of you guys watching this are going to be freaking out about because it's just so amazing um there are some problems with the smooth terrain that i have to fix um also i'm currently holding on to the time thing apparently like for example we have a few little bits that don't get the correct UV we have yeah right here as well we're not getting the texture for it but overall and the parts that are actually <laughs> the the parts that are actually not at all rendering which I have to actually figure out what's causing this think that there's actually I think that's going to the negative and that the triangles are inverting themselves I'm pretty sure 
that's the problem, which that would actually be a semi-easy fix. Just make sure it doesn't go into the negatives. But yeah, uh, that's my job to fix that stuff. But yeah, um, when we've got very nice, smooth terrain and it looks good, except for where it doesn't. I mean, there are some issues, but overall, I'd say this is no longer a Minecraft clone, except for the floating grass that really needs to be redone, and the floating trees that really need to be redone. <laughs> yeah, there is there is work to be done. However, um, I don't know, it's, it's improvement, and improvement is always nice. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Actually I just figured out what one of the bugs were caused by. That the reason why when I uh break grass it gives me that blue block like that. I know the exact reason for that. So that's one bug down. Um yeah. I don't know if I should just keep running around so that you guys can just look at the uh randomly generated terrain and how nice it looks or if I should just stop the video now, so I'm just going to give it another minute of just exploring. I've gotten very mountain and hilly areas recently. In reality, I actually prefer the smoother worlds. If we go far enough, we'll eventually reach a less mountainous area. But I think it looks good. I think it looks very nice compared to the blocks. Um, certainly looks a lot like uh, a different game now. It does not look even close to the same as it used to. But it also looks original. And it looks kind of triple A. I mean the shader isn't that impressive that's on the terrain. You can still see the uh, vertices here you can see the edges of where the marching cubes are done but i'll figure a way to fix that and uh yeah that's that is project vuperia that is the current work that's being done on it it's very exciting extremely exciting and uh if you're interested in development go ahead and join my discord uh send me some of the good green stuff on patreon if you want to help development and I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye. And now we actually have to end the video.